US EPA performed a free food waste assessment so that they can use our college as an example for other colleges to be able to perform their own waste assessment. MCC will be on EPA's website as part of the nationwide local food recovery challenge effort. Our goal at MCC is to begin to understand what is in our waste stream and to explore ways to reduce certain portions of the waste stream. Depending on the data we receive, we hope to be able to address our food waste and development plans to implement a pre-consumer food scrap recycling program. Julie and Nick came to MCC on April 25, 2013. Garbage from MCC's kitchen, cafeteria, and culinary departments had been collected for 24 hours to get a snapshot of MCC waste in a day. The garbage was placed in specially marked garbage toters to be examined. The kitchen and custodial staff was very helpful in setting aside this waste. They even came out later in the day with a big bag of garbage and the comment of, here's a good one, it's really gross. Julie and Nick had set up on the loading dock a blue tarp onto which they spread the contents of the garbage bags. The smaller blue bins are labeled with different categories into which they will sort the waste. As they dumped it out, you can see a mixture of paper products, plastic, and food waste, especially many tomatoes. You can see Julie begin to sort the pile, putting the tomatoes into the box. As Nick rearranges the toters, you can see Julie with some cardboard, sorting it to the correct box as well. They sorted everything very carefully not to miss food or recyclables, two things that can make a huge difference in waste stream if removed. Students from a global environment class stopped by to help. While they got some extra credit at the end of the semester, they learned a lot about the garbage that the college creates in just one 24-hour period. Here you can see plates in the food bin. That is because the college uses compostable plates and cups, but we currently have no place to compost them. They are considered food waste, as they can go to a food waste recycling facility in some cases. After Nick set up the scale, the students got involved by recording the weight of each category of waste. Nick shows Aaron how to record the data, and he puts the cardboard on the scale first. Another student then reads the scale and transmits the information to the recorders. Then they went through the rest of the categories and recorded their weights. Nick and Julie spent some time cleaning up and then took all the data back to their offices. We are currently working with that information. We will first address the recyclables in the trash. Then we hope to be able to implement a pre-consumer food scrap recycling program very soon. Mm -hmm.